A very pleasant good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. Well, once again, this is your Christian brother, Eric Braxton, speaking to you all from his beloved country, Trinidad and Tobago, the land of my nativity, the land of my birth, Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful island country that is in the blue Caribbean Sea. Speaking to you all in the month of September 2021, from the Western world, from Trinidad and Tobago. Well, my message is that the whole of Palestine and the Arab world, I want you all to know, according to the scriptures from Revelation, from Genesis to Revelation, when Jesus Christ returned back to this earth as King of Kings and Lord of Lords, he will unite, he will unite the house of Israel, the ten Lord stripes, and with the, with, the, with, the, with the state of Israel, which is the southern kingdom, Judah, Levi, and Benjamin, and with the ten Lord stripes, who are outside of parliament now, who are scattered to the British Isle, he will gather them from all the nations that he has scattered them and plant them back in the land of Israel. And he will put the both houses together, the house of Israel and the house of Judah. They will no longer be divided as they have divided in the days of King Solomon because of his sin. In the days of Solomon's son, Jetroboam, I mean Rehoboam, and of course Jetroboam of the northern kingdom. As we saw in the book of 1st Chronicles, 2nd Chronicles, 1st Kings, 2nd Kings. Read it all yourself, brothers and sisters. And then God will unite the Arab nation with the house of Judah, with the children of Israel. In other words, what I'm simply saying, the war in Palestine will come to an end. Jews will no longer be fighting the Arab nation, and the Arab nation will no longer be fighting the Jewish state. The Jews will love the Arab nation, and the Arab will love the Jews and appreciate the Jews, and that included the state of Iran, the Revolution Republic of Iran. But when Jesus Christ comes, because he's the only one to unite the nation and bring world peace, because he's the God of peace, brothers and sisters, that's what Jesus Christ is coming to do, and to bring peace to the whole of mankind, and truly to bring peace and stability, and peace and security that mankind needed in the world today. Is coming from Jesus Christ. So my Palestinian boys and girls, brothers and sisters in the West Bank of Gaza Strip, and to my Jewish brothers and sisters all over the world in the international Jewish diaspora, and those in the motherland of Israel, Tel Aviv, Israel, the Holy Land, and to all my Arab brothers and sisters and the rest of mankind. This is wonderful news for mankind, that our God, our King, our Savior, the Holy One of Israel, will be coming back to this earth to bring peace to the whole world and to unite mankind together and the war that you see in taking place in israel every day between the palestinians and the jewish rulers pelting stone and shooting at the jews and the killing the jews and the jews are killing the palestinians in the 10 days wars and the 20 days wars and the five days wars and six wars that will be a thing of the past and the eternal peace will be reigning upon this earth is that that good news ladies and gentlemen well if you all not see that as good news i am seeing that as good news and the bible tell me that about that good news that god is bringing about for mankind the nation the united nation and cannot bring it about i know none of the prestige men of this world bill gate and the richest men with a billion dollars and trillion years trillion years i know think tank university or institution combined with the united nation cannot have bring about that world peace it come from god himself he's a prince of peace he's a god of peace and he's bringing that to mankind to bring stability to this world is that that good news gentlemen well, if those who doesn't want to hear that, sad on their part, but I want to hear that news. And therefore, I'm sharing it with one and all, with every boy and girl all over the world. So this is the, this is the, this will be when Jesus Christ comes. That is good news to the Jews and to the Arab nation and to the whole of mankind. This is not a fallacy. This is a teaching of the scriptures. Because when Jesus Christ comes here, he is bringing peace. That's what he has come to accomplish. And more than that, and those who say that Jesus Christ, when he come down here, he not coming to accomplish that. He want to see the fight between the Palestinian and the Jews continue. So he will be sitting upon the throne of David with Michael and Gabriel at his side and they like holy angels. And he will have his foot like this and with champagne drinking and he will tell the Jews and the Arabs, continue the fight. I was watching the fight from heaven and I come down here. So let continue the fight and entertain me with that fight. I want to see the Jews and the Palestinian bombing up one another and killing one another. You, Mr. Hamas, and you, Mr. Hezbollah, attack the state of Israel. Continue the fight. I'm enjoying it. You think Jesus Christ will tell them that? And he's sitting on the stone drinking champagne, and Michael, the archangels, is his wine bibber, his wine bibber, giving him the cup of wine to drink, and Jesus Christ and the like holy angels are enjoying that. Mm -hmm. And telling them, continue the fight. 
to continue the chaos that Jesus Christ is telling and Jesus Christ will be telling um, according to what some people think Jesus Christ will be telling them you all the Palestinians attack the Jews all the Jews defend all yourself and kill all the Palestinians all the, and all the bomb up the place so the, con so the war will continue and Jesus Christ will sit on the throne enjoying that and the Father on top in heaven now enjoying that all the things that what Jesus Christ is coming to do Oh uh -huh, no, he's not coming to do that. So all of you all there who think that's what Jesus Christ is coming to encourage, all you have it wrong, all you have fallacy, all you don't have, all you have not have it and all you don't understand. Man, God is the God of peace. When he come up on this earth, he will end all wars. No more fighting between the Jews and the Palestinians as I described earlier in, the, in this video. He will be bringing peace. He will take away all the weapons from the Jews and all the weapons from Hamas, Hezbollah and all the Arab nation and all the rest of the world. He will take it out of the hands of men. All it, uh -huh. So let me leave. That's because the Jews are the chosen people of God. He will take it. He will take away all the arms and armament from all the rest of the nation. But tell the house of Judah, all they keep all the one. No, he take it away from them too. Uh huh. And you destroy all them weapons. Mm -hmm. So Hamas, Hezbollah, and the house of Judah, all they will have no more weapons in all the hand. Not even a revolver to fire. Yeah, he will destroy all the weapons. And you unite the nation together. What I tell you all in this video, peace, love, and truth. And the peace of God reigning on the earth. And the Jews and the Arab nation will be united. Because Jesus Christ will tell all tell them, all of you all are brothers and sisters. Is one human family. He will remind them of the text in Hebrews. He have made all nations of one blood. And he will tell you, all that blood is running in all the human family. Yeah, he will remind them that and tell them that those who are ignorant about it. And that's what Jesus Christ is coming to accomplish. And more, ladies and gentlemen. So this is wonderful news for mankind, ahead of mankind. When Jesus Christ comes, to introduce what I, all what I just said here. To bring peace to this world. Wonderful. Wonderful indeed. Only read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation and see it for all yourself. If all you think are fooling all you. Or taking all your far. For a ride on tomfoolery. Are you taking all for no ride? I'm pointing you all to the scriptures what the teachings, what the teacher, what the what the what the scriptures say. In no other name, but in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. I encourage you all, those who are not Christian, to get baptized, accept Jesus Christ as our Lord, Lord and Savior, accept the go to the nearest church close to you all that observe Saturday as the Sabbath day to introduce all yourself to the preacher. Join the, all the, join the Bible class, whether it be on a Wednesday or Thursday. Prepare for baptism, get baptized, become that Christian, and begin telling others about the scriptures, the words of God. In no other name, but in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. Shalom, peace. See you all in the next video soon. Bye-bye, my friends.